Riley, owner of Grasshoppers Comics. Uh, we're in Williston Park, New York. And the owner is just me and Dan, who's essentially a product manager, so it's the two of us manage the whole thing. My name is Dan Sotello, work at Grasshoppers Comics, and I'm from uh, Queens, New York. We opened in 1992, and we just finished 26 years, so we're at the beginning of year 27 right now. We did open the store, me and my wife. I learned really young that I hated working for other people. It made me really miserable. I had a couple of jobs before this, but I I had my own paper out by when I was 12, you know, and I built it up to a big route. Me and my wife quit our jobs and went back to grad school um, together. Uh, the plan actually was to open a daycare center, but when we graduated after two years, we realized we did not have enough money to do the real estate to to do it. I had a giant comic book collection at the time. And we had been selling comics on the weekends uh, to help put ourselves through school, and we were both working as well. And uh, we just decided, since we couldn't do what we wanted to do, we would just keep doing what we were already doing. I used to come here as a kid, um, when John first opened, and then right after I graduated high school back in 99, I started working for him, and that was it. <laughs> we are a true comic book store. Uh, we have 140,000 back issues at the moment. As opposed to some other places, uh, we really focus on the books, so we don't really do toys, um, that kind of merchandise. We really focus on books. So we have about 140,000 back issues. We have 6,000 different trade paperbacks in, at all times, pretty much. Um, and we really focus on reading. We focus on like the entertainment value of a comic. We also have historically done a lot of gaming, um, miniature games, card games, board games. We have had different proportions over the years. At times, it's been 50% 50% between comics and games. These days, it's really very heavy into the books. So a day at Grasshoppers, um, it really depends on the day. On like Monday is a quiet day, it's pretty much like get work done kind of day. Tuesday, the new books come in, and there's usually so many that we take the day essentially to unpack them, process them, log them into the computer, move everything around the store. So it's basically like new inventory day on Tuesday. Wednesday is new comic day when everything's available for sale. So everyone comes in on that day usually or a lot of people come in on that day. And then the rest of the week is kind of hit and miss. There's always people in here usually and it's a very social environment. Um, so there'll be a lot of conversations going on. You know, there are those blocks of time where you're just taking care of all the stuff that's coming in the store and then the rest of the blocks of time really taking care of people. It varies day by day, but I'm always uh, helping customers, going through inventory, orders, dealing with stuff that comes up on a daily basis, organizing, stuff like that. This industry changes so much over time. You know, we've been here for you know, closing in on three decades and tastes change you know, game categories that were huge 20 years ago don't exist today. It's exciting in one regard that you're not selling or you're not dealing with the same thing in perpetuity. Artists change, writers change. So it's just, you're constantly adapting and you're trying to constantly figure out, well, where are things gonna be three months from now, six months from now, now a year from now, so that you can be on top of it. So. It's a good thing, you don't get bored, but you're constantly trying to figure out like where things are going. I mean, the industry is always changing. So a lot of stores over the years have gone out of business because uh, they can't keep up with the times. So you really gotta be on top of what's going on within the industry and adapt. The downside of owning your own business is that in even if you're not here, you're still working. You're still thinking about it. There's so many different hats you have to wear during the day. There are so many different areas. You know, I have to be a product manager, an accountant, an advertising rep, a social media person. Uh, you know, it's it's you have to do everything, and that can be really, really time consuming. I don't feel like I can shut off my brain unless the store is actually physically closed, and it's only closed a few days a year. 
for a brick and mortar store, you know, online competition is obviously tough. One of the hardest things is, is trying to impress upon people or trying to have people understand the, the value of the store. Because when you can get the same thing somewhere else, you're know, like, well, isn't it the same thing? It's like, well, yeah, it is. But if you come in here, like, and you ask us for recommendations, we're not just some algorithm based on what you've already bought or what some publisher is trying to push that month. You know, we're talking to you about your interests. We're talking about to you about not only what comics you like, but what you don't like. You know, which is often more important than what you like. And also, you know, what movies do you like? What TV shows do you like? What do you, you know, what are your interests in general? And there's the community interaction. And for for a hobby kind of thing, I think that's really valuable. I know I'm a cyclist, and I can get pretty much anything I want from my bicycle online, but I still go to the bike shop whenever I can because I like to be around other people who ride, and I like to be, talk to the shop owner about my bike and about different things that are going on with the hobby. It's when it's your interest and you want to be around people who share your interest, there's like a value to that. And then sometimes I think that people don't appreciate it. They want it, but they don't appreciate that they want it until it's gone. There's definitely interesting people that uh, that come in here, but it's actually one of the great things about the store is so many different walks of life and people that would never normally interact outside the store interact in here. It's kind of like a safe haven for everyone. We really, really take care of people. So if a really hot book comes out, we make sure that everyone is covered. We don't pull them all off the shelf and sell them on eBay or something like that. Um, you know, we we don't mark things up. You know, we we want people to enjoy reading comics, so we really try and take care of people. I mean, the big one is always our annual charity raffle toy drive holiday party and that's to support the John Thiessen's Children's Foundation. So we do a big toy drive and a raffle to raise money for them. And that's a really cool event because it brings together so many different people. So we have artists come in to draw. They all do it free. The incredible people at the 501st Legion always show up. Um, this year Santa Claus came. Uh, it's just, it's an awesome event and everyone donates their time all day long. We have cosplayers in the street, uh, you know, shaking hands with the kids, and it's just, it's really nice. And this year we raised 18000 which was enormous. It's a, it's a great charity. It's all families here on Long Island, uh, so it's good to help out uh, people in your own backyard. I have two favorite parts of being here. One is seeing a little kid get excited about a comic book. That is priceless. That's the coolest damn thing ever. The other is when two strangers meet in front of the counter and have an hour-long conversation about something. And at the end of the conversation, they're like, oh, by the way, I'm so-and-so. That happens so much that I just take for granted that that happens. And when I'm out in the rest of the world and it doesn't happen, I always find it weird. I'm like, oh, why, are, why aren't people talking here? I've had people who met here get married. And that's something that was never going to happen, you know, somewhere else. It wasn't happening in my corporate life, that's for sure. And, you know, I don't see it happening, like, at Best Buy. Pretty much everything. Uh, I really have no complaints about anything here. I do enjoy the people that come in here. There's a, definitely a, a great group of, uh, of loyal customers that come in. So that, that's a big part of it. I'm Zach Rabiner from... Long Beach, New York. Uh, my name is Chris Del Sordo, and I'm from Wilson Park. My name is Chris Fan, and I'm from Biniola, New York. I'm Thomas Henry, and I'm from Long Beach, New York. <laughs> Growing up, comics had a big impact on my life. I liked a lot of graphic novels. I, when I first read uh, the comic Watchmen, it was like nothing I'd ever read before, and I think it left a lasting impression on me. I, I, I realized that comics could be more than just simple stories for kids. They could be really insightful and really deep. Huge cosmic guy, Silver Surfer, Thanos. One of my favorite series is Infinity Watch, uh, Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity War. Huge Star Wars guy. Amazing Spider-Man, The Punisher, Why the Last Man, Runaways. 
most of the Marvel stuff. Fantastic Four is probably one of my favorites. So far, my favorite series is either the Maximum Carnage, Spider-Man, or uh, Rocket and Groot, or even just the Rocket origin story. My friend Zach. Looked it up on Google and came here maybe coming here for maybe a couple years, three years. It's it's the best store. I, uh, I've been coming here since I was at least, I want to say nine or ten years old. I started coming here because I used to play the, uh, the Star Wars card game. Yeah, so Thursdays uh, we would come here and just hang out and, you know, play the game, just hang out. That's it. And then I started, I didn't really start reading comics until, I want to say, college. Yeah. What I like most about coming to Grasshoppers Comics is the, the personal attention that they give to each and every customer. I mean, I've been coming here so long, I've, I've known these guys almost my whole life, everyone who works here. Um, it's just, it's it's the best comic store I've been to. I mean, everything down to the selection, the customer service, the way everything is organized. You always get like a crispy, clean, nice book. I've gone to stores in Manhattan that everything's all beat up and some of the guys actually mock you based on what you're buying. So it's, you know, there's no there's no comic book store like this one. And it's within walking distance of my house. The hospitality from the workers and it's so aesthetically pleasing coming in here. Everything's very organized and uh, it's easy. And like I said, they're really cool to talk to. They answer any questions. In this store over online shopping is, I mean, I love to support these guys. You know, they're great. And I mean, all their books are in amazing condition. You can find everything you need. I mean, it's just, you know, it's my favorite store.